Uh, our last speaker here for this afternoon is uh, our state senator, Jim Abler. Wow, this is just phenomenal. Um, that song, the way you sang, just phenomenal. In a, in, a, in a city that's proud to say we love the flag, and when the national anthem comes, we proudly stand. Phenomenal. And uh, it's been my honor to uh, represent Andover, and uh, <laughs> it's easy. Because you're phenomenal. The men and women here, the, 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 the people that did the uh, gun salute. How could you just not burst your buttons with pride for who, what we are and what we have been about? This is my dad, uh, Jim Abler, Lieutenant uh, J.G. Uh, uh, Jim Abler. He uh, served in the World War II. Uh, he was a Hellcat pilot off a carrier at the age of 18, uh, couldn't wait to sign up and go, and he was, he was so proud. I'm not sure at the age of 18 he realized he was signing a blank check. And the, the people who serve, and I hope you know that, um, you just don't know what the future is. He got to live to the age of 97, but some of his friends didn't. He was on the, uh, whatever you call that little thing on the side of the carrier where you can go out and smoke. And, um, which is a bad idea, children, don't be, anyway. Um, everybody smoked back then, the dogs smoked. But, um, but so he was out there having a smoke and went back in and 10 minutes later a kamikaze hit that deck and killed some of his friends. I don't think he ever quite recovered from that. Although he didn't talk about it. Though those vets never talked. And I want to thank the Vietnam vets, and I'm not going to ask you to stand or anything because you don't even want to, but um, I want to thank the Vietnam vets for opening up the discussion about how important it is to remember the rest of the blank check, where you didn't, you come home in one piece, but you're not the same. And uh, there's so many people and so many veterans that just can't take it anymore and find themselves victims of substance abuse and suicide. And my dad didn't know that. But he always made me remember as a start and, and inspire me with his excitement to, uh, to fly. He always wore this hat around. Actually, he wore the hat for about the last 20 years since the Vietnam guys made it cool to be a vet. They had a thing at the Capitol. They gave him a little medal. And it was an amazing thing. And there's a memorial down there. And uh, the more, the better. He wore his wings with pride. And every place he went, just he would wear it. And so um, this hat, and when they would have the little things and it'd stand up for the Marines and the Navy, he'd stand up and he'd proudly, the whole way through. And, and then, uh, then he got old, uh, and, and he was kind of done. And he's, for the last year, he said, I'm not going to be seeing you much longer. And the next day came, and uh, anyway, so he wanted to sleep his way into heaven. And he did and the last four days, and then he passed away, of all days, last Veterans Day. Which I think is so cool for me and for him. But now, I can never forget the day. And then uh, the men and women came and they, they did their salute and gave us, my mom, this flag. And because they really, it was cold and they really didn't want to shoot the guns in the church, which I didn't know why they wouldn't want to do that. So they stood outside and we didn't want to go outside, it was cold anyway. But they, they shot the guns outside, and it was muffled. And it was the most profound moment. With, and they do a great program. They just say, talk about the flag, and it's, you just, you just burst with pride. And the muffled sound, and the muted memory, and the memory of a blank check. And some of the men and women never got a chance to have that opportunity to live out your life. And, and I pray that nobody has to cash that, get that check cashed. But I'm so proud to be a part of a community where so many people and part of a, a state and a country that remembers that this still is way cool. And we're not perfect, but we're way cool, we care. And I just want to 
thank you again for everybody like my dad, who made a difference for me to enjoy the, the freedom to come and talk to you today. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Abler. One of the things I do want to say about our uh, local senator is he has been a huge proponent over the years of our veterans. And if you're not familiar with a place in Anoka called the Eagle's Nest, make sure you come talk to him about it because he was one of those leaders that helped make that happen for our veterans who are struggling.